Hey guys, I just wanted to shoot you a quick video and uh, my number one tip that I have for people that feel like that they're, they're kind of struggling in the business, if they feel like that their prospects like completely fall off the face of this earth, you know, you talk to them, you say, okay, it's this much money and you do this and you click on this button and then you do that and then I'm going to do this and then like they completely fall off this planet. Have you ever had that happen to where like, you you think that somebody's kidnapped them or something. Um, so one thing that I've started doing is I every week I sit down and I just send out messages to people on my friends list. You know, if you're working the business the way that you should, you're adding between two to five people a day. So that means that a lot of their news feed might not be showing up on your um, on your news feed. Unless, like, you know, you make it a habit to, you know, talk to them or comment on their stuff every single day, some people might get lost in the shuffle. So, one thing that you can do is once a week, sit down, go through your friends list, and write out 10 messages and say, hey, Sherry, write, make sure you write their name because you don't want it to look like, you know, that it's just kind of generic. But say, hey, Sherry, you were on my mind. I was just thinking about you. How are you? And that alone, that one sentence can create a huge conversation. You will find out what they've been doing, how is their life, and then you're asking questions. You're caring and you're investing into them and they see that, that they're not just a number to you and that you know you don't just want to make a quick buck off of them or you don't want them to sign up as a coach, that you truly do care about them. And so you ask all these questions. How are you doing? How's your job? How are your kids? I remember you said you had four kids. How are you dealing with that? Um, you know, anything that you can kind of connect with, with them. And once you kind of start figuring back out, you know, where their life is, it might not be their time to be in a challenge group or to sign up as a coach. But if you really feel in your heart, and this is where I say that you really need to listen to your heart into your instinct. If you feel like that you have something to offer to them, then you have an obligation. So, you know, you could say, hey, Sherry, I know you said that, you know, you, you've really been struggling, but you're working a lot, and you're not being able, you know, to go to your kids' ball games. I didn't know, have you ever considered doing what I'm doing? And just see if it open. Try it. Where, what are they going to say? They're going to say no, or they might just disappear again. Um, but if you kind of start out really asking what they're doing and who they are and what, how are they, what is their life like, and then you present the business to them or to a challenge group, you know, hey, I heard that you said that you're so tired and that you feel like that Weight Watchers is not doing any good for you. Have you considered joining my challenge group? Can, can you let me tell you a little bit about it and see where that door takes you? But once you invest in somebody and start building relationships is whenever you're going to start seeing the other side of it and seeing where they trust you and they're going to sign up with you because it's you. Not because of the product, not because of the business, solely because it's you. So make sure that you are investing in people. And that's my tip.